Good evening. The ART buses have been up and running for just three days. And the city is already taking drastic measures to keep Albuquerque drivers out of those lanes. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live near the Biopark this evening to show you. Rachel. Dean and Jess, it's no secret drivers will cut across the art lanes just to get through Central. So along this stretch, the city has set up these temporary barriers to make drivers stay in their lane. This is a family tradition for us since it started. Elizabeth Neer is one of the thousands who will stroll through Albuquerque's River of Lights. Oh, it sets the Christmas spirit, gets us ready for the Christmas holiday. And to get to the biopark, these River of Lights goers had to pass by a new addition on Central Avenue. These orange barriers. And they are not for decoration. What we're trying to do is we are discouraging motors from entering those bar those art lanes since buses are now running. For months, the city has had problems with drivers illegally crossing the art lanes. That they put other people at risk to get somewhere faster. And sometimes drivers trying to cut corners end up in collisions. To put a stop to it, the city installed cement barriers by Atrisco back in April. They're hoping these orange barrels will work in other areas. It didn't interfere with what I was doing. I didn't even notice them actually driving down here. They've put some up by the biopark during the River of Lights for safety reasons. And more of these temporary barrels by 57th Street on the west side, where the city says it's another problem spot for illegal art lane drivers. You should not cross the art lane. You could be hurt. You could put yourself in danger. You could put someone else in danger. And the buses are running. For drivers we spoke with, they believe these temporary barriers will do the trick. I think it might be pretty effective to do it this way because so many people have been crossing over Central. So how long will these barriers be around? Well, the ones around here by the biopark, the city says these will come down when the River of Lights wraps up by the end of the month. But the ones over on 57th Street on the west side, the city does not have a timeline as to when those should come down. Back to you. All right, Rachel, thank you. Now that those barriers are up, the city says drivers on Central could see longer commute times.